Welcome to Understanding Money, a conference. We are taking position of our positions. And in Zimbabwe, we, we are also participating and involved in making sure that this theme does not just become a theme, but it's a reality that we are already working on. So as Justice Connection, uh, I'm going to inform you of the programs that we are undertaking since um, the publishing of the book, Taking Advantage of Another Chance. You know, this is the book that birthed the concepts that we have been undertaking since 2016. And since 2016, we've been involved in uh, um, reintegration advocacy that uh, inmates reach out. We've been going out to the, to the, uh, to the various prisons and uh, with offering skills, um, programs, uh, so winning, and all kinds of empowerment that have been involved in, in order for us to equip the broken man, the faltering man, the offender, so that one day they can be reinstated back into the society for productive use. Because we believe that uh, no one is a reject and no one is already outdated. But if everybody is given a chance, they can still bounce back. We believe in bouncing back. Even this conference believes in equipping people on how they can bounce back and become glamorous again. So after writing the book, we have been doing events and, and sponsoring and donating various kinds of uh, necessities that are needed in order for us to support rehabilitation incentive incentives. But now, in this year, 2024, we are introducing a program uh, that is called Build Me Up. This is a discipleship program that is focusing on man. You know, if you look around all over the world, you will see that uh, the, the, the majority of prisons, they are congested with men. Men are the greatest uh, populace. And technically, it means that when men are in prison, there is no father in the home. So when there is no father in the home, that means you've got a lot of broken homes. So broken homes are a catalyst for crime, um, for crime. So if we are going to operate in crime reduction, we also need to focus on this major area that is rebuilding family. So we're concentrating on rebuilding men. That's why we are going with this program. This discipleship program, you know, is going to cover 10 provinces, but we're not going to cover 10 provinces all at once. We are going to cover the provinces according to um, uh, province by province. I I'm going to give you our diary for 20. 2024 so that you can see where you are going to come in and where we need assistance you know when we launched when we are launching the build me up um discipleship program we are moving from events and we are coming to into programs because the events is a one-time thing that you've just done and then it's gone where you are not an event stops but when we are talking of programs that means it's a system that is running even if you're not there the system continues that's why even jesus emphasized in matthew chapter 28 verse 18 he says that you go and then you preach but you make sure that you disciple them that means give them a system so we are going to to instill or is uh, this system which is going to run um in support of the uh, re rehabilitation uh thrust and and that we have so in these classes, this is how the class is going to be formulated. It's going to be 39 students that is per prison. And, and the province, a province normally involves of uh, six prisons. So we technically we are saying that we've got uh, 39 students uh, in six prisons, uh, which gives us a total of 234. That is, we are studying that is um, in February. Then in, in, in April, that we are going to bring in more, um, more three pre or provinces. And then what is going to become? They're going to give us a total of 702 and, and plus the other province. Then we have a total of 936. Then we push these ones. And then as we build momentum, July, we introduce three more provinces and that will give us a total of 1,638 these three three provinces that are coming in. And then we introduce in October of three more provinces, which will give us a total of 2,340. Now, that means all the 10 provinces, they are now involved. And then they will give us a total of 5,148 inmates that have been tra trained throughout the year. And what do we need in order for us to be effective in undertaking this assignment? You know, we have got the Build Me Up uh, modules that we constantly need to be provided because they cannot learn without the module. So we need to every inmate and every uh, participant to have the modules. And then we've got writing materials. They need the support, writing materials. And we've got the printers, uh, stationary toiletries, and the pushes, you know, uh, the pushes. You know, th this man, you know, we are talking of a prison sometimes we just got over 2,000 
men who are using the same bathroom and somebody does not have something to put on when they're going to bath. So it is our responsibility, you know, to provide for those things. And toiletries, potions, uh, refreshments, whenever we are having programs, it is our responsibility to provide uh, with the refreshments. And, and we need banners. Uh, we need a car service because, you know, when we are, um, our, our teams, when they are going out, they will need also transportation in order for us to be able to coordinate these programs. And the, um, the training programs for the chaplains, they also need coordination and the empowerment, um, empowerment uh, programs, empowerment training trainings that are needed, which includes, you know, we have been training even farming, uh, carpentry and um, sewing, upholstery, all the things they've been doing and providing the things. And we need the television sets you know, for online interaction, you know, things have changed. We need also for the visibility so that one program can be seen in all the uh, 47 prisons. So we would need television sets and an 18-seater minibus uh, without forgetting uh, cameras and laptops so that we are able to have a full production. So these are the things that we need and, and other things that can also be needed in order for us to be able to be effective in training these ones, in training 5,148 men. Imagine if these men are restored and there is a sustainable reintegration, that means we are talking of homes and families that have also been restored. And this is an indirect way of even supporting the woman who has been neglected to fend for your for your family without even help and assistance because the man is incarcerated. You know, it is an issue that we need to undertake seriously, that rebuilding man. We need to focus on this. So when you're supporting us, when you're partnering with us, when you're helping us, you are helping us to rebuild men, restore families, and this will technically is going to be a catalyst for crime reduction. As you're participating in this conference, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord help you to, to possess your own possessions. And I know some of you are going through various kinds of life incarcerations because you're partnering with this one. May the Lord bring you out of your own financial incarceration, emotional, academic, all kinds of incarcerations that we may find yourselves in. Receive your deliverance. Receive your answer. God bless you.